This is the Travis Roy Wiffle Ball uh, Tournament. It's played annually. Travis was a gifted hockey player. Uh, he got hurt in the Division One hockey game his freshman year, um, and he had a, he suffered a spinal cord injury. He started a foundation, so we play for Travis and his foundation. You having a good time? Have fun? What it's all about? Started out 12 years ago, we raised $5,000, a couple of teams in the mud. 12 years later, we just raised over half a million dollars. All right, we are just about ready. Uh, I'd like to invite Joe Tyrone down to say a few words about Tommy Long and the Sportsmanship Award. Most of you are here, remember Tommy very well, but um, just want to just give you, here's his three boys. He's Matt, Eric, and Timmy. They played for the Staten Island Yankees and they drove up in a station wagon uh, about 2004. Um, you know, 2004 was actually, I think that was when they had to turn back because there was a blackout in New York City and Tommy had to go back to work at the American Stock Exchange. And so they missed that. We had replacement players, which we're still mad at um, that we got it from up here. But um, in <clears throat> 2005, they came back up here. And when Tommy came over this hill and he saw this, he knew this was something spectacular. He knew it was something great. And he was just an amazing man. He was really amazing. He taught all of us how to whip, play wiffle ball, including me. He was only a few years older than me, but he was, he was 13 or 14, and me and Dave were, and Richie were 9 and 10, and he taught us the curveball and all that stuff. And he was always into sports, big Yankee fan. And he was the guy who really embodied this, this tournament. He, he knew what it was about. He knew how great it was. And he was a man of many theories. And, and everyone knows the theory he had where he had, you had to bat lefty to be able to hit a right, the righty's curveball. And so, through Travis and the committee, when he passed away five years ago, after he passed away, the next tournament, in honor of Tommy, every single batter, the first batter got up, they batted lefty. So in honor of him, everybody batted lefty. And I understand today that the Buckners still do that, and I really appreciate that, Rob Young, keeping his spirit alive. Give me that This theory also included how good this tournament was going to be. And I got to tell you today, he would be incredibly proud of what Travis, the committee, his boys, everybody here has done. So this year's winner also is a man with theories, which I think is particularly fitting. And his theory this year he came with was how to improve the uniforms for the players in the tournament. And I'm sure he shared that with a lot of different people. I know he shared it with me. This year's winner is Mike Bailing from the from the Astros. Congratulations, Mike. Get underway so, in our first quarterfinal matchup here uh, this afternoon. Uh, uh, I feel very fortunate to be part of this.